cylinder inscribed in a sphere. A right circular cylinder has been designed to fit inside a sphere. If the sphere has a radius of 2 meter and the volume of the cylinder is a maximum, find the dimensions of the cylinder. So in this series we have a couple of geometrical problems where one shape is inscribed into the other. Now we need to figure out an equation which can relate things given with things to be found. Now here we want to find maximum volume of a cylinder. Now volume of a cylinder is given by pi r square h, right? Where pi r square is the area of the base and h is the height of the cylinder. Now, we are also given here that it is inscribed within a sphere whose radius is 2 meters. That means from center to the edge, this line will be 2 meters. So, and that will help us to find a relation between radius and the height, correct? So, what we will do here is, we will try to find a relation between the height of the cylinder and the radius of the cylinder. In that case, we'll have our equation in one variable. At present, we have it in two variables. So let this be the radius r, and that is the height. I should say half of the height, right? So this is half of the height of the cylinder, right? Let me write this as h over 2, and I'm writing this as my height of the cylinder, right? Okay, so now we have a right triangle here. So from this right triangle, we can find relation between height and radius, correct? So we get h over 2 whole square plus r square equals to the hypotenuse square, which is 2 square, right? So now we have a relation. And from here, we can find what r square is in terms of height. So we need r square. It's better to find r square from here. So we get r square equals to 2 square is 4 minus h square by 4. Correct? So that is the value of r square. So we'll substitute this value in our equation for volume and then find the rate of change of volume. So we have now pi and r square we found as 4 minus h square by 4 and that is times height. So now we have volume in terms of height, right? So we can now open the bracket and we get 4 pi h minus, so it is pi h cube over 4, correct? We'll multiply with this and this, both the terms inside. Now, the derivative of volume with respect to height is 4 pi, and this will give us minus 3 pi over 4 h squared. Now to get the maximum volume, we need to find the critical number, right? So always critical number is when this derivative is zero, right? So let's find the critical number, that is, we'll equate v dash h to zero. So we get zero equals to four pi minus three pi over four h square, right? So that is how we can find the critical number. Now here, let's try to find what is the value of h. So we have 3 pi over 4 h square equals to 4 pi. Let's isolate h from here. So h square equals to 4 times 4 is 16 pi divided by 3 pi, right? And h will be equals to square root of this. Square root of 16 is 4, so we get 4 over square root of 3, right? Pi and pi will cancel out, correct? So once we do square root, pi and pi will cancel out and we get height as 4 over square root 3. And for this particular height, radius will be, so we can substitute this height here and find radius. So we have h square, we can substitute 16 over 3 there, right? So we have r square equals to 4 minus h square is 16 over 3, so we write 16 over 3. That is h squared divided by 4. That means this, correct? So this can be simplified, and we can now write this as this is. This goes 4 times, 4 over 3 here. So 4 times 3 is 12, 
and 12 minus 4 is 8 so we get 8 over 3 and r will be square root of 8 over 3 okay so that is how we can get height and radius for this critical number now we have to prove that this critical number indeed is a maximum now to do that what we should do is we should find what are the restrictions on this height right what can it be since we are in a sphere of two a radius of two meters so the height could be maximum four meters correct so we have here that h actually could be greater than or equals to zero but less than or equals to four that is the limit right so let's find the value of volume for these critical numbers right so we have critical numbers 4 over square root 3 and 0 and 4 so we'll plug in these values in our expression vh equals to 4 pi h minus this right so we can use this one of these equations to find uh, the best possible answer now let's say so let me just demarcate these so that you know we're clear about what has been done and where we have some space to work right so now what we will do is we'll find volume for critical number zero so volume for zero is equals to so we can use one of these equations so it is 4 pi h minus pi h cube over 4 so if i put h as zero then of course this will be zero right now for h as 4 so that means volume at 4 we will write 4 here so we get 16 pi and 4 here so 1 4 will cancel so we'll get minus 16 pi which is also 0 right now the third value is 4 over square root 3 so volume for 4 over square root 3 is equals to so when I write 4 over square root 3 here I get 16 pi over square root 3 minus now 4 over square root 3 so 4 cube one of the fours get cancelled so we got 16 pi 4 over square root 3 so 4 over square root 3 so square root 3 cube okay so that is what we get here times pi of course right so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to write the value 4 over square root 3 here right so 4 cube okay let, let's do it again so we have 4 pi so first we put in this we have 4 pi times h is 4 over square root 3 okay minus pi times h cube which is 4 times 4 times 4 over 1 4 times square root 3 cube correct that is what we are, we have written here so one of the fours get cancelled what I'm trying to say is this so we get 16 pi common factor so we get 16 pi over square root 3 as a common factor so we get 16 pi over square root 3 as a common factor and then we get here our volume as 1 minus 1 over 3 right 1 minus 1 over 3 because 3 square is remaining right so we get 3 over 2 so we get 16 pi over square root 3 times 3 over 2 3 minus 1 over 3 which is 2 over 3 so clearly this is a positive number right since this is the positive number here we have the maximum so the critical point which we found indeed gives us the maximum value right it's kind of very important to show these calculations and say well we have a boundary condition and we have checked all the values that is at the boundaries and at the critical number and amongst all those values that is the maximum value right and therefore for the height of 4 over square root 3 and a radius of square root 8 over 3 square root we get the maximum volume of the cylinder so now we can write down our answer and our answer is height equals to 4 over square root 3 and radius equals to 
When you do square root of 8, you can take 4 times 2, so you get 2 square root 2 over square root 3, right? So, and the units are meters. So that is your final answer on this particular question, right? Have a good look at this uh, problem and see how to solve it. So the steps involved are, first, try to make a good diagram so that you can relate the two variables which we have here, height and radius. The two meter radius of the sphere becomes the hypotenuse for this small triangle where we took half the height and the radius, half the diameter, relating it with two. And so we got volume in one variable. We calculated volume as a function of height. Finding a critical number. After finding critical number, you have to prove that this is indeed a maximum volume. So for that, check the values at critical number and at the boundary conditions, which is from the radius of the sphere, right? So height could be 0 or 4, correct? So check all these values and then confirm that it is indeed a maximum for the critical number. I hope you understand and appreciate the method. Thank you and all the best.